guys welcome to my channel i'm just at stock res and it was voted the 68th best walk in the uk on the uk's top 100 walks so yeah i'm doing that today and i'm going to show you the way around the path starts here at this car park and just where this sign is if we follow the path that goes around it you head through a gate there from these signs here you can see there's little wildlife hides and picnic areas but we're not visiting them today we're just doing the walk As I said at the beginning of this video, uh, Stocks Reservoir has actually been voted 68th best walk on Britain's top 100 walks. Stocks Reservoir is actually located at the head of Hoddy Valley. And for the people who don't know where Hoddy Valley is, it's actually in the forest of Boland. And this reservoir mainly provides water for Blackpool and the Fylde Coast. The blue arrow that you saw there was actually the arrow which shows you the way around the Stocks Reservoir and it's actually called Stocks Circular. If you do this walk, you might realise that Stocks Res has a bit of an island in it. And the name of that island is Bird Island. Coming up to this looks like an abandoned barn just there, and just as we just before we get there, the path goes down this way. And that's what we're doing the stock circular path. The path really isn't that hard to follow. If you just look out for the little signposts with the arrows on, you shouldn't have a problem. But I've just done this video just to show you a few things that you can look for, like the abandoned barn, certain bridges, things like that. Here we make our way down this path and it cuts back on itself and then leads towards a bridge that goes over the river. we are at the bottom of a hill it does get a bit boggy down here and as you can see it was very boggy when i went as well it gets very boggy around the bridge as well Here we're just looking at the bridge that we came across and the path that we came down and now you head across the field to a small gate and that is the way that we continue this walk and following the arrows on the signpost makes it so much easier as well and a little jump over the river and continue through the gate that's signposted with another one of those arrows So if you're after a bit of history about Stocks Reservoir, it was created in 1932 and that was by the Fylde Water Board. And what they did was they flooded the Dalehead Valley and the farmland that surrounds it. It was actually including the hamlet of Stocks in Borland, which is where the reservoir got its name from.
over 500 men actually worked on the construction of this reservoir as well. They all actually lived in a temporary village which was called Hollins. Continue to follow the arrows and now we make our way through this style. We keep following the path on the other side of this and you'll come to another little signpost with an arrow on and it leads to an actual track. When construction of the reservoir was complete, Prince George officially opened the reservoir with a commemorative bronze plaque. However, I didn't even know that there was a bronze plaque and I didn't see it on my walk. It was officially opened on the 5th of July 1932, like I said, by Prince George. see from the video that the path is very easy to follow and it's very easy underfoot. Very shortly the reservoir starts coming into view. What I will say though is these aren't even the best views of the reservoir that you'll see. If you're wondering the distance on the walk, you're looking at about 12 kilometers or about seven and a half miles. Doing this walk like I did where there's previously been a lot of rain, coming up just to this section here there's a gate and just on the other side of the gate it was absolutely waterlogged which you will soon see. After making my way around the waterlogged path I made my way back onto the path and followed where these trees are and where these trees are there's an opening of an incredible view of Stocks Reservoir. The reservoir it actually has two primary inflows which is the River Hodder and Hasgill Beck. It has one primary outflow and that is also the River Hodder. The path, very easy to follow, and very easy underfoot. This was probably one of my favourite sections of the walk. Really easy path to follow and incredible views looking over Stocks Reservoir. side of this gate you just have to make your way up and through the style and then continue back onto the path underfoot's now changed you've got a hard stony path underfoot so there should be no slips at all It's 
soon come to a building on your left hand side which is this one here not really sure what it's used for but we continue over the cattle grid following the arrows on the signposts sure if it's just me but I've never seen a 25 mile an hour road sign before. I'll soon get to this section here where there's some small trees there's some plaques just on the side of the road and it's called the Boland Memorial Forest it's actually a really beautiful place as well keep following the road and then eventually to your left hand side you will see this huge building this building, although it looks super haunted, it's called the Board House. And the Board House is a building used for meetings by United Utilities. It actually stands on the western shores of the Res. It's near Hodder Water Treatment Works. really wanted to go on that bridge that goes over the water but unfortunately it was double gated so I didn't bother. Instead we just decided to get these views. Following the arrows we make our way down these steps and through this gate and eventually we come to a path. Once you get to the bottom of the stairs, you take the path that goes left and eventually you'll come to a bridge. Looking over both sides, you can see the water. Cross over the bridge and go through the gate on the left, follow the path that goes along the side which we're on now. This section is the other favourite part that I have of this walk. Great views. Here we've got a bit of a T-junction without a sign coming up. Uh, don't go right, just follow the path that goes straight on here, like I'm doing. Everyone loves a fall, so I decided to keep this and use it in the video. This bench on a summer's day would just be a perfect location just to stop for a drink, get something to eat. I did this walk between Storm Dudley and Storm Eunice and the destruction of the trees on the side was massive. Just a little stream crossing here, just continuing following the path. isn't as boggy as I thought it would be and to be honest I didn't really have any problems slipping. Once you get to the top of the path just ahead you take the path that goes to the left 
just here following the arrow and eventually you get onto another path here which is this one again quite easy underfoot easy to follow and nowhere near as boggy as i thought it would be to say it had rained so much just to let you know how quiet this walk was we didn't see anyone on the walk until we were just a kilometer away from the car Once we go through this gate, we follow the path and eventually you come to the main road. When I say main road, it's actually the road that you would have drove down to get to the, the car park. That road I was on about is actually just on the other side of that wall there. But the path that we're following continues just on the side of the road. After crossing a bridge, we continue to follow the path which actually brings us out to the road and we need to walk on it just for a few hundred metres. To be honest, it's probably not even 200 metres, it's about 100 metres. Here we are making our way onto the road now. Just a quick look over the side and we follow the road down. Eventually you'll come to this section where there's a path to the right and a path to the left and you can see I take the path to the left. This is probably the final leg of the walk now, it's all flat and the path just takes you all the way back to the car park where you first started. Just round this corner is the car park where you started. This was a video on Stocks Reservoir, ranked 68th on the top 100 walks. Uh, I hope you found it useful and thank you very much for watching.